Hello, my name's Mary O'Carroll. I'm going to be reading you this story that I wrote today. It's called Matilda. It's one of the 10 Fitzroy readers that I wrote, and altogether there are 90 Fitzroy readers in nine sets of 10. So here we go with the story, Matilda. Matilda was seven. She looked similar to other kids, but she was different. Matilda hardly ever said a word. She didn't seem interested in playing with other children and she felt very shy when she was with adults. What Matilda loved best of all was being with animals. Being with animals helped her to feel happy and relaxed. Matilda loved all animals, pets, farm animals and wild animals. She felt that fish, lizards, cats, foxes, rabbits, sheep, zebras and all the other animals were her friends. At home, Matilda kept a pet parrot called Polly, a pet rat called Basil and a pet dog called Monty. Her pets were like her brothers and sisters. She played with them and looked after them. When her family went camping, Mat Matilda met a wild kookaburra and a wild lizard. Every day she spent a long time being with them. She sat with the lizard and then began to copy it. She pretended to be a lizard crawling along. She got up into the gum tree where the kookaburra sat to see how it felt. She sat on a branch and looked at the distant farmland. It was relaxing there in the soft, cool breeze. When Matilda visited her uncle's farm, she spent time with the wild foxes in the evening. She sat still to see what the foxes did and where they went. Matilda saw that they ran softly but quickly. They were very alert and sometimes seemed invisible. One day, a boy called Oliver got lost in the forest. His family looked for him all day, but they did not find him. The next day, 12 adults with dogs tramped across the forest looking for Oliver, but they did not find him. He was still lost. Oliver's family and friends were feeling very unhappy. Matilda's dad, Scott, was good friends with Oliver's dad. Matilda and Scott wanted to help, so they visited Oliver's family. Oliver's mum and dad looked terribly upset as they told Matilda and Scott what had happened. Scott checked with Oliver's dad exactly where they had been when Oliver was lost. Then Scott and Matilda went to the forest to have a look. Matilda's dad was running and yelling, Oliver! Oliver! But Matilda just sat still. A kookaburra came to her, then a kangaroo. She did not say a word. She just sat there looking at the animals. She was trying to understand them. Had they seen a lost boy? Soon, Matilda began looking for Oliver. She stepped softly but quickly, just like the foxes she had seen. The kookaburra was flying and the kangaroo hopped along. She felt they were helping her. All of a sudden, there he was. Oliver was lying asleep next to a big log. Matilda hugged him, but Oliver did not get up. He said that he was very cold and hungry. Matilda ran back to her dad. It was a long run, but Matilda kept going. 
Scott saw that Matilda had good news. He ran to her and she led him to Oliver. Scott picked Oliver up and took him home. Oliver's mum and dad were so, so happy. They will never forget what Matilda did for them. The end. And then there's a list of words that we've used in that story. And lots of them have the ED sound at the end. Picked, relaxed, helped, tramped, checked, stepped, hopped. And on the very back page, there's a list with lots more words with that particular spelling pattern. Packed, sipped, pecked, flicked, tricked, dipped, stacked, parked, blocked, pricked, bumped, pumped, nipped, jumped, clipped, shocked, capped, clapped, popped. Matilda. The story was written by me, Mary O'Carroll, and the illustrations are by Caroline Keyes. Hope you liked it.